detected outside the facility. You'll need to refill your deployment vehicle to make it out of there. Best of luck. This is Wonder House. They tried to recreate and study how the wonder weapons worked, and even went as far as making machines that could spawn power-ups. You are Extraction Team 2. Your mission is to try to locate any survivors that have survived the event after things went south here, only there are no survivors. The map actually includes a few side easter eggs you can do, including these teddy bears. It's actually best to speedrun these at the beginning of the match, because if you find them all, you actually get all the perks on the map as a reward. Another side easter egg that can be completed is the prototype weapon, and that is started by picking up this particular part right here. I don't even want to know where this thing came from. By completing the side quest, it'll actually turn your regular grenades into grenades that can attract zombies on their own. Um, there's also a bug where if you throw a tactical this also works, but I decided to leave it in because, you know, what thing is fun that is not overpowered? The scientists in this facility also wanted to replicate how the pack-a-punch works, but ended up just creating this instead. So, by using this, it will activate random functionality and it doesn't exactly work the same time every time. It can either end up being the most expensive nuke that you've ever bought, or it can do something cool like upgrade your little Arnie's for you. Diverting power to emergency In older versions of the map, I saw a lot of people get frustrated because they would connect the prototype weapon to the prototype pack, and as anyone would do, would assume that they would interconnect with each other. So I did exactly that. I made it to where the prototype pack can indeed upgrade your prototype grenades, and what this does is it makes them infinite damage. By activating the teleporter, you actually do have a chance to get into the command and control room. In this room, you can actually do really cool things such as apply buffs or debuffs to the maps or player. Uh, this could be anything as toggling unlimited ammo for the rest of the round, uh, or they could do something strange as make all players invisible to each other. Alternatively, you can also trigger the defense system from here, or you can trigger the portal being enabled as I've done here. By going into the portal, you'll slip into an alternative dimension, and this is very useful if you have gone downed and have lost all your perks and want to get them all back. By going into this dimension, you are now invisible to all zombies, but you are also invisible to all players as well, and you will remain so until the end of the round. Once you unlock the garage area, you'll notice that there's a van that says it wants to await fuel. To use the van, you actually need to find all the fuel cans that are scattered around the map, and once you've found them all, you'll see a message that says, time to go home. Once you've done that, you can actually go back to the van and extract from the map, and essentially you've beaten the map. This is the very first map I've ever made. I've also put a lot of work into it. Uh, I've put several updates into it. So if you guys want to check out the map and try it out, I'll leave a Steam page link in the description. Uh, give it a Steam reward if you can. I would highly appreciate that. And as always, I'll see you guys the next time I upload. Peace. I don't want to be no back. Either you can come and save me or just let my heart collapse Either you can come and clean me or let me fall into relapse Either you can come and save me or just stab me in the back I don't want it to go back, I don't want it to go back Yeah.